to have with us Mr. and Mrs. Abbott here today. The Honourable Tony Abbott, MP, Federal Member for Warringah and Federal Leader of the Opposition. Now, can I just say, Mr. Abbott was one of the first politicians who, whose office contacted us and said, you know, after the massacre and said, Mr. Abbott would like to share in your grievances and the grievances of your community and expressed interest in being here today. Please welcome Mr. Abbott to the stage. Your Grace, Bishop Suriel, my distinguished parliamentary colleagues, Chris Bowen, Philip Rannick, Scott Morrison, Craig Kelly, Senator Conchetta Fioravanti Wells, my distinguished state parliamentary colleagues, the Reverend Fred Nile, David Clark, members of the clergy, above all else, ladies and gentlemen, let me say what an honour it is to stand before you today and share your grief at what has happened to your brothers in Egypt and to speak out loud and clear and strong for the universal decencies of mankind. I had, I had a mentor in my school days, a Jesuit priest, who said to me constantly, pray as if everything depended upon God, but work as if everything depended upon you. And I want to say to all of you that you are working so hard today, first of all, to speak out on behalf of the great Coptic community of Australia. Second, to show solidarity with the Coptic community of Egypt, the oldest and largest Christian community of the Middle East. But third, and in some ways most importantly, you are speaking out for that respect and that decency and that humanity which is so very Australian and that we wish to see observed right around the world. I do want to pay tribute to all of you for the good work that the Coptic community has done in this country. Your community has been marked by commitment to hard work and family values. And I want to say, as the leader of the political party, the political party which most represents small business in this country, how pleased I am at the contribution that the Copts of Australia have made to small business. But most of all, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to you that it is an outrage what has happened to your community. It is an outrage which should cry out to heaven for rectification. And I want to say to you that when we saw the protests in Egypt, when we saw the protests in the other countries of the Middle East, we all thought that perhaps for the first time in generations, democracy and human rights might be coming to that troubled part of the world. But a democracy which crushes people is no democracy. And let us hope, and let us hope that what happened just a few Sundays ago in Egypt does not foreshadow the shape of any democracy that might take place uh, in that country. Democracy means respect for minorities. It does not just mean enforcing the will of majorities. A democracy, a democracy must be judged not by how effectively it implements the will of the majority, but how effectively it protects the rights of the minority. I am very proud uh, to lead a political party which has a strong record of commitment to human rights right around the world. 
and a strong record in giving sanctuary to people who need our protection. As most of you would know, when he was the Immigration Minister, Philip Ruddock implemented a program of protection for cops who needed to come to this country. We've done it in the past. We can do it again in the future. Finally, may I say to you, my fellow Australians, may the people of Egypt come to see the tragedy the other week, not just as a crime against Christians, but as a crime against Islam too. Ladies and gentlemen, no true religion, no true religion can, can contemplate this kind of horror. Thanks very much for